The next day, the Horde and Alliance forces prepare to leave Northrend. On a nearby cliff, Sylvanas ponders upon the future of Forsaken and herself. Such is description of Finale, Edge of Night. So, it is done. I had not dared to trust my senses. Too many times has the Lich King made me to be a fool. Finally, he has been made to pay for the atrocities he imposed upon my people. May Azeroth never fail to remember the horrible price we paid for our weakness, for our pride. But what now, Hiram? What of those freed from his grasp, but still shackled to their mortal coils? Leave me. I have much to ponder. Varian. Verisa, it's nice to see you. Varian, she... she didn't betray us. Are you looking for reasons to redeem her in your eyes, Verisa? She is always going to be an enemy, Verisa. I know that once you were sisters, but... I still see glimpses of her as she once was. And th there is more to a person than glimpses. If it settles you any, know that I have no plans to hunt or destroy her. Dwarchiv and I spoke at length, and he assures me he has the situation well in hand. And should we not celebrate our victory? Let us return home and rejoice. Yes, let us. I'm sure that my children miss me. Verisa! I best go. Varian, thank you. You've settled me. I've been told you wanted to see me, Verisa. Jaina, this was found on the Lich King's corpse. I thought you might want to see it. What's this? He... he kept it. All this time, he kept it. I knew. I sensed a part of him still alive, trapped. Struggling. Oh, Arthas. Perhaps. Perhaps he might someday remember what he once was. By the light, may he at last find rest, free from the icy grip of that terrible blade. Arthas was dead. What did it matter if another corpse filled his vacant throne? Sylvanas Winder had her vengeance. The vision that had driven her and her people for years had finally been realized. It was over now. A part of her was surprised she was even still around without this lingering presence always tugging at the back of her mind. She backed away from the throne and slowly turned to survey the cold grey world all around her. Her thoughts returned to that place of... I didn't... I'm not fast enough, whatever. Sylvanas felt her spirit reaching a place of calm for the first time in an almost decade. Her weight shifted toward the edge of the drop. She closed her eyes. A lifetime ago, she had not yet seen her 20th autumn, yet already young Sylvanas was the most promising hunter in her family. It wasn't good enough to be the best hunter in her family, she needed to take everyone's breath away as she ventured out. There are so many, we only have a two dozen rangers up here, they cannot survive that. They merely need to delay them as we fortify the Sunwell's defense. They will die! They are arrows in the quiver, they must be spent if we are to win this. 
rightful heirs of Lordaeron, the Lich King falters. Your will is your own. Are you to be outcasts now in your own land? Or do we embrace the cruel cards fate has dealt us and we take our place in the world? We are abandoned, we are forsaken, but when the sun rises tomorrow, the capital will be ours. But what of the humans? The humans will serve their purpose. They believe they are liberating the city. Let them fight on our behalf and spend themselves for our gain. They are arrows in the quiver. I will not be judged, not by you, not by anyone. Stay back and stay out of my head. This isn't real. What is this? These visions, are they memories of events that hadn't yet happened? No! Why aren't they fighting? Just like me, vain, victorious, and proud. Yes, we were. I am Anhel the Collar. Some of our sisters already fought with you. These are my sister battle maidens, and we are the only nine who remain. We serve the Lich King. Did you choose to serve the Lich King? What is this? What are these visions? Visions of the future. Every life leaves awake in its passing. This is yours. Where have you taken me? I should be dead. You are? I've tasted oblivion before. You're keeping me in limbo. Why? To show you the consequences of your passing, and to offer you a choice. I have made my choice. Your people will perish. Let them perish. I am finished with them. Hush, Agatha. She does not know. She must see more. Sylvanas Windrunner, the oblivion you seek is yours. We will not stop you. How had she gotten here? She couldn't remember. Had she been killed by Arthas? Had she committed suicide? Had she been sent to judgment by the Valkyr? Time was meaningless here. Her whole life seemed... She only saw darkness, and then she felt, truly felt, for the first time in a long while. She recoiled, in agony. Here she was, her spirit once again feeling whole, only to feel it suffer. There were others in the darkness, things she didn't recognize because nothing so terrible could exist in the world of living. She sensed the familiar presence, recognized it, the taunting voice that had only once her held her in a grasp. Arthas? Arthas Manifil? Here? The boy who would be a Lich King, just a scared little blonde child, reaping the aftermath of a lifetime of mistakes. If any part of Sylvanas' soul were not at the moment torn and tormented, she might have even felt, for the first time, pity. In the grand landscape of all the world's suffering and all evils of the infinite, the Lich King was insignificant. Now the others had her. This was to be her eternity. The endless void, the dark, unknown realm of anguish. Was it a moment or a lifetime before a single thread of light broke through the darkness? Then they came to her, their arms extended, the nine Valkyr, impossibly beautiful. She felt small and naked, called into herself. When she found her voice again, it only sobbed. Sylvan Sylvanas Windrunner was broken. Lady Sylvanas, we need you. What, what do you want? We are bound to the will of the dormant Lich King, imprisoned atop Icecrown, possibly for eternity. We hunger for our freedom as it once hungered for yours. We need a vessel, one like us, a sister of war, strong, who understands life and death, who has seen the light and the dark, someone worthy, worthy of power over life and death. We need you. My sisters will be free, free of the Lich King forever, but their souls will be bound to yours, Sylvanas Windrunner, Dark Lady, Queen of the Forsaken. 
You may, more, you may walk with the living again through the sisterhood of the walk here. As long as they live, so too shall you. Yes, yes we, we have, have a pact. pact. The pact is made, Sylvanas Windrunner. My sisters are yours, and you hold sway over life and death. I shall take your place. As long as they lived, so too would she. I'm sorry if I didn't catch some of the dialogue, but it was just too quick for me. <laughs> 